you ever feel disconnected from close friends and family mm -hmm. despite all of the technology that's available out there? A new survey actually shows more people are looking to reconnect with their inner circle. Today, lifestyle and parenting expert Brandy Malloy joins us live with a new way to share. Good morning, Brandy. Hi, thanks for having me. You bet. So let's talk a little bit about how smartphones and social media have kind of changed the way we chronicle the major moments in our lives. I know everything for me is now stuck in my phone or <laughs> on the cloud somewhere. <laughs> it's changed everything. I mean, we are documenting now more than we ever have before. I know for me, I love to share everything on social media, um, especially of my daughter, Millie. But, you know, there are some things that are meant to be private, some of those precious memories that you really only want to share with your closest friends and family. And there's actually a new study, uh, study that is about it. What did it say about sharing when it comes to our photos? Yeah, well, more than half of Americans feel less of a deep connection with their closest friends and family than they did five years ago, um, which is really ironic because we want to feel those connections. We want to share. Um, this shows that sharing privately with your closest friends and family can really strengthen those deep connections with the people that matter most to you. Okay, let's talk about a product called EB. How can that help us share? How does it work? Mm -hmm. Uh, it's been life-changing for me. It's a smart photo manager. So basically it helps you collect, find, organize, and privately share photos with who you want, when you want. I mean, you can take all those photos you just mentioned on different, you know, cloud sites and hard drives and social media accounts and organize them all in one place. And then you can actually search all of those memories and, and precious images and videos either on a timeline, by date, or by location. Now, I know we've done a lot of stories about privacy. How does EB address those concerns? Mm -hmm. Yeah, privacy is a huge concern for anyone, um, but for me as a mom, it, it's really big. And what I like about EB is it gives you the control. So you can share what you want with who you want. You can create private albums, um, but you can also create albums that you can share with your friends and family. And then there's even something on there called an inner circle. So this is your super close friends and family. For me, it's my husband and my sister. And we can share photos there on EB um, and comment and like each other's photos, kind of like a social media wall so it's very familiar and most importantly it's really easy to use is it pretty intuitive i know like you know it's pretty easy for me to share photos with my you know grandparents and things on facebook but is it going to be are they going to be able to mm -hmm. use this kind of thing Yes, and that's really what I like about it because um, most of my extended family aren't on social media. So this gives me a place where I can put precious memories like my daughter when she went to the dentist for the first time or um, when we went to the zoo the other day so that grandmas and grandpas can absolutely view these photos really easy. You can create that album, send them a link, and then they can see all of those awesome experiences. So how do we find out more information and get ourselves signed up? Yes, it's very simple. Just head on over to meeteb.com. All right, Brandy, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Something to add to our sharing devices. Appreciate it.